What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only from March 15th to the 20th for 2020, March 2020. So take what resonates, leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to you, because they're specifically for your storyline in mind, you can find all the information on how to reach me in the description box down below. So let's get off right into it. I've already pulled your cards. This is going to be a little bit different. As you will see in the mid-month, I am just starting to do Lenormand Tarot, which I don't actually understand the Lenormand Tarot, but I was told when I was given this as a gift to read it intuitively. So this is going to be intuitive reading mixed along with my Manga Tarot. Um, so let's get right into it. The We got the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles for Tarot, and then I don't know the names of all the cards, but I know that this is the Tower, and that I don't know what this one is, but we got this in the Tower. And I don't think the tarot means the same thing as it does in the actual tarot. So I'm going to be intuitively reading from that. Let's get into the actual, what I'm familiar with tarot. Uh, but that's not the actual. Okay. So the lovers. The lovers represents a large choice to be had in general. But it usually comes out in relationships or love readings as in a big choice to make regarding to love. It is about, it is a big decision that is being made. But there is also a need for patience um, with the Seven of Pentacles coming in that represents, the Seven of Pentacles represents a situation that is yet too ripe to pick. It, it's basically you're doing all the work of something. It, like Let's say you're, you're growing a garden and all the flowers are about to blossom, but you decide right before they start to blossom, you pick them all. That's like, that's kind of what the Seven of Pentacles warns against, that you know, don't pick the fruit when it is too ripe. You've done the fucking work. All you have to do is wait a little bit longer and it'll fucking come to you. So this is a cautionary tale of there is a large choice to be made in love, but you don't have to be hasty about this. And in fact, the um, the way to do this is with patience because it is too soon to make a choice about this decision when it comes to the lovers. Uh, whatever the decision this is to be made, whether it is in a relationship or not, whatever choice it is needs a little bit more time and it will f it will come to fruition by itself. You won't even need to take it. It will just be there. You won't even have to like it patience is the virtue that you need the most right now it is going to be um the most telling thing of this reading is that you are going to need patience and let this play out naturally if you wait i think that the situation will be good but right now there is kind of like a um when i when i look at these cards when i look at the lenormand i know i think this is a little brassin I think that this card in particular is um, one of conformity and tradition and rule. Because when I think of the tassel and I think of the whip, I kind of look at this as a symbol of religion. And, you know, like when people would um, flail themselves religiously and they would, like, they would flail themselves and they'd be, like, walking in a line in a parade and they'd be flailing themselves. Um, I kind of see that kind of aggression. There's, oh, okay, I think this is called the whip. So I still, I still agree with what I just said. I, I still feel like there's some sort of, when I think of a whip, why, why do we use a whip? We use it to intimidate people. We use it to tame something. We use it to get things to do what they want, but aggressively. Um, so I kind of see this as a little bit of an aggression kind of thing. Um, especially with, I know this isn't, the tower doesn't actually represent the tower what it does in the actual tarot deck. It's not falling apart. It doesn't represent that, you know, there's... I don't feel like there's danger to be had here. It's overlooking um, the sea and the canopy of the sky. I kind of get this as... I know I don't know why I'm feeling like this, but solitary confinement. I kind of feel like this is... Because there there's, there's a tower, and then there is some sort of building overlooking the direct cliff. The cliff and the ocean... I definitely get that there is some sort of, um, I feel like there have been struggles in this situation. I feel like I, I don't, 100%, I don't, I know the lovers came out as a large choice, but I feel like for a lot of you, this isn't going to be a love relationship reading. I feel like, for some of you it is, um, but for a lot of you, I kind of feel like this is, I'm kind of, I'm feeling... I 
I don't know why it just felt like that, but I kind of felt like the word prison just popped up in my head, so it could be like an actual mental prison or like an actual prison. Um, but I feel like there is something that... I'm going to have to ask for one more... I'm being told to do it from the Lenormand. All right, intuitively, of course. So can I have one more card from the Lenormand as to sum up this whole thing for me, just to make it easier to read? Okay, so we got the cliff. And the cliff, or the mountain, it, it does represent to me, when I see this cliff, it does feel like you're being pushed into the situation where there's, like, this danger, there's heights, there's, like, it feels like the only way to go is up, but up is, you know, the, the wrong way to go in the situation, because all it leads to is down, eventually. Um, I feel like it's being pushed into a corner. There's definitely one more card from my actual um, uh, Manga Tarot deck as to what this all means together. Well, I kind of got that with the... the... Okay. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles, putting work into something. Putting a lot of work into something. Going back to school for a trade or a skill or some sort of job. Putting the work. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. Putting the work into a situation that might not have had... It is putting the work... It's putting the work, and for some of you it is directly going to be a relationship, um, in the sense that for some of you it is going to be putting in the work into a relationship where you feel like you're being backed into a corner. I feel like maybe this choice that you're being forced to make isn't one that you would have liked to have made at all, and I feel like that's why you feel the need for patience. I feel like there is something might be hurrying you along in this situation. I kind of get the feeling that it's... um. I kind of see this as something brute and something that has force to it and something that, um, because there's a lot of brute force when it comes to this with the whip and the, whatever the, the, the flaily thing and the, the brush, not the brush, the, um, I don't know what this is called, but the, like, the, the, the broom, it's kind of the whip and the broom, it's kind of like, um, there's a lot of tense kind of, and this whole reading kind of seems to me like almost brooding, like, you have this decision to make, and trust that, like, you will know in time. There it is. You will know in time what choice to be made about this situation. But right now, you're working f towards the situation. Can I have one card as to what this whole situation is directly correlating to? Your fucking happiness. So it's something that is giving you happiness. It might be actual children, but it is literally about the way that you view your happiness. This is a mental health spread. Uh, I would almost, I would put any amount of money on it that this is going to be a mental health spread because I was feeling that very strongly, and that's now affirmed by the sun. The sun is the best card in the deck to reassure you that there's happiness on the way, and this is all to deal with the way that you view yourself and the way that you view happiness. And I feel like, there might have been something whipped out of you at a young age that's causing you for isolation. Now you don't understand how to harvest anything other than that, um, than brute force, because you're being pushed into this direction. I, I don't see... I feel like you're making yourself out to be the enemy. I feel like you're putting a lot of work into yourself, but I feel like you're putting... You're making yourself out to feel like the enemy, and you're not. Um, but there's a large choice to be made here, whether it's in a relationship or it is a big choice to be had about where you want to pursue your own happiness. And I definitely, can I have a card for outcome, please? I know, I'd, yeah, risky business, but I would like to see where this goes. Okay. It does, there is a little bit of a give and take to this. It is a card of give and take. It represents the Six of Pentacles is a equal playing field. There is going to be balance here. It will feel fair, but at the same time, it's going to feel like there is going to be haves and have-nots. It's going to be a little bit snooty, so when looking at this directly in the message of self-care, I definitely feel like it's going to be, there's this force behind you. There's this, I don't think it's you. I, I get this feeling that yeah, there's something or society or somebody behind you that is making you feel the scales are balanced, but at the same time, I don't feel like you're happy with that. I feel like there's something here that is demanding something from you, and I kind of feel like it's... Trust that it ends up. There is an equal give and take. You will be given what you need, but I kind of feel like this like this kind of gloomy sense for the need of the sun to be here, because uh, I mean, the sun is here, but I kind of get this very gloomy. I'm not really liking the vibe that I'm getting from this. It kind of feels stiff. It definitely feels a little harsh. It feels like... I think your upbringing might have been rough. 
and I feel like you're having a hard time making decisions based off of your upbringing and who you're supposed to be and what people have told you to be, specifically parental figures or people that have had power in your life, I would see this as kind of like, um, I feel like there, for some of you, there might be somebody in your life that's not suited for you and I feel like might be ruling you with a whip and making you feel isolated. They might be making you feel like that on purpose. And, um, you know, it's a choice to be had if you want to keep this in your life or not. Or also, like, it, like it, 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 if that's the relationship aspect. And again, where it could also be the, um, the self, the mental self where you are trying to overcome this you're trying to overcome this isolation the need to escalate every situation that you get yourself into and to be told especially with the tarot that you need to have patience about this large decision because i feel like your upbringing has told you how to react to this in certain ways i feel like nothing really satisfies you because i feel like you have been um something has been taken from you at an early age that makes you feel like um I know that's, I know this is weird, but something has been taken from you at an early age that makes you feel like every situation is a lose-lose situation. Even though it's balanced, you're not going to feel that way. Um, and it's definitely in order to make yourself feel happy. You are in the pursuit of happiness, definitely, with the sun, and you're going to be putting all the work into it, saying, and you have all the reassurance here, saying that, you know, there's a large decision here to trust in time that it'll come to you naturally. So that is the main goal here. Take everything a step at a time because I feel like your past had a lot of trauma in it. And I feel like the most natural way to get about this large decision, whether it be in yourself or a relationship or whatever this is, um, it is the most solid advice here is to have patience because if you continue working on this, it will feel balanced. You have to work on this. You have to work on... Because it is balanced, but you're seeing it in a different light, and you have to work hard on understanding that it, I feel like this is because of your upbringing. And so, again, for the relationship aspect, this is going to be um, maybe something from the past that has escalated things to you, and now you can't view anything um, romantically in the way that you should. Or it's an event that is going to be doing the same thing to you, but not with the romance involved. Either way... This does have fairness in it. It's just going to be something that you have to look at in a different way because I feel like you might be you might be undermining your success here. And I feel like you're going to be undermining your happiness and your success and you might get to your goals if you're like, I mean, I sh you know, it's not a big deal. It should have taken me a lot. I should have done that a lot quicker. No, cut it out. That's not how that works. Your success is relevant to whatever it is that you deem your success to be relevant by. It doesn't matter if it takes you 10 years or 15 years to get all this happiness. If it takes somebody two months, who gives a shit? It's not you. That's not you. That's not your story. I know that you might feel like that because I feel when you see people in the society with different storylines, you're like, why can't I have that? Because that is not your story and you have to live through yours in order to know what choice to make so take care with that for the star sign of gemini all right gemini this isn't bad we've got a lot of trauma that we need to work out but i definitely see in time that you are going you're putting the work into this i just want you to start looking at yourself in a different light than other people have pushed down your throat all right gemini take care i will see you next time peace out my moon tribe